We have been building houses in the United States for decades completely wrong. Typical home construction is costly, time consuming, and extremely wasteful. Super messy. But there is a better way, and more and more home builders are looking into modular construction to get their projects done a lot faster. And it's actually getting more favoritism with the public as well. But there are some other things you need to know about modular construction. So today we're going to take a closer look at modular construction and see if this is the new wave of the future. And we're going to be weighing out some pros and cons because I got a lot to say about them. Do you know how long it's taken them to build this house? When I built my house originally, it was supposed to only take six months. There was tons of delays and my six month project to get my house built ended up taking 13 months. If I had done modular construction for my home, it would have been a lot simpler and that six months actually could have gone all the way down to three months. When you're building a house, it's super frustrating because it is hard to judge exactly when you're going to be able to close on the house. There's so many things that can happen during the construction process that delays it. Do you know one thing you can count on when you're building a house? that there is going to be bad weather at some point during your build. Here in Louisiana, we have rain delays all the time. And believe it or not, some of these people try to work in the rain. With modular construction, all of the materials themselves are done in the factory. So you wouldn't have those weather delays because of the fact that the wiring is already done into the modules or even the panels themselves before they actually hit your site. All the plumbing that would be within the wall is already done before it hits the site. Once the modulars are on site, all they have to do is connect them together. So even if you had one bad rain delay, it wouldn't make the whole entire project go on for another month. Now, once the modulars do show up, the finish out time can take several weeks because you know, they have to put in all the lighting and the outside finishes. Sometimes people call that gingerbread and you still have to pour your driveways and sidewalks. Another thing, especially with what's happened in the last couple of years is the supplies that build your home, copper, roofing, wood, all those things were taking a lot more time. So people that normally would have waited nine months, let's say are now, have been waiting you know 18 to 24 months to get their houses built but that is all eliminated when you're ordering a modular home when you order a modular home they have a better idea of the timeline because they already know what's in their factories itself some of the things you can customize in your modular home could take it a little bit longer but they know exactly when it's going to be able to close within just a few weeks instead of a few months everybody knows time is money and that's a big giant plus for home construction and one study actually even said that it could potentially bring down the amount of time that it would take to build a house 30 to 60 percent of the overall project so if you're building everything in a factory the materials that would be normally on site aren't even there when you are building a traditional built home it's very typical for them to drop off building materials to the front of the location and leave them there but that also leaves it wide open for people to steal the building materials you won't necessarily have those same issues when you're building modular and when you are building a brand new home i don't know how many times I've heard they had stolen lumber, especially in the last couple years. They've stolen PVC piping, anything that has been dropped off at the front of a construction site, somebody nefarious will come by and try to steal it. But if you're doing all of this in a factory, you're gonna have a lot less theft going on because there isn't gonna be spools of wiring laying around. There isn't gonna be lines of pipe that are laying around that's gonna be easy for somebody to steal. They'd have to actually physically rip it out of the wall. Now, I'm not saying that can't happen because that did happen back in the last housing crash when people were stealing copper and if that is a concern for you you're probably going to want to get some kind of security system there's always going to be a risk of theft but that risk is diminished once you decide to go modular over traditional home construction there's something like gurgling over there <laughs> And those are the concerned for the environment. Have you even been on a traditional home site? I mean, they leave bottles out, they leave wood out, and then they'll scrape the yard and then throw all the building materials in the yard. That really won't happen if you're building a new modular home because they won't have that excess materials that are just laying around a site. Not only that, think about how many times it takes them to drive back and forth to that site to get those traditional home building materials to your location. If you only have one drop off, that's gonna be a leaving a lot less carbon footprint than a traditional home build. Oh, one more thing, because they don't have all those stuff laying around, your home site's going to be a lot cleaner. I'm not saying there isn't going to be people that are leaving their water bottles laying around, but at least you won't have construction stuff. And sometimes they'll even take the mud and dump it into the yard and then they'll lay the grass right on top of it. It becomes really a nightmare with some construction companies. Some of the subcontractors they hire, they just don't care and they're super messy. Your labor force may not be predictable, but if you have modular construction, your labor costs are predictable. It is going to take some time for traditional home builders to adapt themselves to this new way of trying to build homes. Modular construction is appealing to them because of the fact that it's gonna have a lot lower labor costs and you won't have as many people like walking off the site. But if you're building modular, all those components that are built in the
the house are already being done in the factory. So you have very light workforce once the house is delivered. Those people are gonna be experts in doing modular construction and the contractor you work with is gonna be certified to put together that specific modular home. That's a piece of advice, by the way. I know sometimes you wanna go a little bit less expensive and you think, oh, that contractor that for that modular home company seems awfully expensive. I'm gonna go with this other guy. If they don't know how to put it together a modular home, you're gonna end up with a big giant mess. So always make sure you have somebody that's an expert in putting together that specific modular home. But back to the lower cost for a home builder. Once the modular home shows up on site, you have a very small crew, very small, and it's much easier to maintain. Smaller crew means less labor costs, which is better for their bottom line. So that's why more and more home builders are leaning towards modular. Now, there is some kind of misconception when it comes to the look of a modular home. And I've mentioned this before because people have that idea that a modular home looks like a manufactured home. And then the modular homes they have seen are something called a hybrid manufactured home, where they say, oh, this is a manufactured home, but we can turn it into a modular. And let me tell you to be careful about that. If it's a hybrid modular home, that just means that when you financed it, they financed it like a modular home. But when you go to refinance that, that could be a huge problem because it isn't a true modular, it's a hybrid. So then they're gonna wanna put you in a completely different loan package and that could cost you more money as far as the interest is concerned. It also could be a problem for the appraisal process as well. So whenever you're looking at a modular home company, ask them if it's a true modular home, if it's IBC certified, Certified, and if there's going to be a problem when you finance it in the future. If you're wanting a true modular, you don't want a hybrid version of it because if you want to refinance, it's going to be a problem. Now about the look of a modular home, you can get them in any way, shape, size, whatever you want. They have come from modern, traditional, farmhouse. Anything you can think of can be done in a modular concept. There's even this company that has been nice enough to give me all the B-roll for this video called Westchester Modular Homes Incorporated. They make humongous houses like like really nice, really high-end modular constructed houses. They also make some less expensive ones as well. But just know that if you can think it, it can happen. Now, there was another company that I actually met with in Texas, and I'm super excited for when their homes come out because I honestly believe they're going to change home construction altogether. The amount of money that you could save on the energy bills alone is overwhelming, and I think it's gonna revolutionize home construction altogether, and I can't wait for them to let me film it. I, will, I can't breathe the name. I can't say who they are until they give me the green light. But when they do, I'm going to be the first one. I'll tell you right away. I promise. Now, everything can't come up roses when it comes to modular home construction. I realize that. And there always is going to be some cons of anything that's a different type of concept. And one of them is going to be the public perception. I've mentioned in previous videos that people are always confused what the difference between a modular home and a manufactured home. When you have a modular home, it's built to traditional home building standards are even higher. When you have a manufactured home, it's built to HUD specifications. When manufactured homes, most of them have a license plate, they're set on a chassis, there's a tongue, there's an axle. That is not a modular home, not the same thing at all. So the modular home companies kind of need to do a little like rebranding and re-educating. They should probably hire me because I'm pretty good at that. But because of that confusion, it isn't just the public that needs to have a re-education. It's also the lenders and mortgage brokers because when you explain that to them, many times they're like, we don't we don't finance modular homes and you ask them why and they're like no we just don't do them and then when you show them their plans and what you're doing and then then they get the whole idea they're like oh okay so it can be kind of a hassle to try to find a lender now the way the financing works with a modular home it's just like a traditional home when you're building a new construction you would have a new construction loan done where you roll the land and the project that you're doing the builder would take some draws on each time that is something is complete with that modular home when once the uh, new construction is done, then you're gonna be rolling that into a traditional 30-year mortgage or whatever package you decided to go with with your lender. And just know this, if you, one lender said no, that doesn't mean the next one will say no. And take your plans to many different lenders. I say as little as three, but up to five so you can get as many quotes as possible because you wanna get the best deal and the best interest rates for yourself. Now, when you have a new construction loan, 
You're going to have the whole appraisal process. Please explain to them that this is a modular home and that it's built to traditional home standards. Even appraisers get confused between manufactured, modular, and traditional home build. You do not want them to appraise it as a manufactured home. Even though the, those pieces were built in a manufacturing plant, that does not make your, that house a manufactured home. Tell them exactly what the building code is that this particular house is built to. So that way they will appraise your property correctly. One more thing that you need to consider. If you're buying a piece of raw land, you're going to have to check with the HOA. For instance, in my subdivision, it will say no modular homes, but we do have three, mod no, two, two modular homes in this neighborhood and no one in this neighborhood even knows that it's a modular home. So don't be discouraged if you happen to find a piece of land and it does state there's no modular homes allowed. Take it to the HOA, have a conversation with them and see if that will be something that you're going to be able to do there. One more freaking headache and the lack of understanding about what modular home construction is. The local permitting office could cause some issues as well. And then the people that live in the community could have their nose all stuck up there because they're like, oh, we don't want modular homes because it will bring down the home value. But just like the HOA, you're going to want to take those plans to the planning and zoning and explain to them exactly what you're doing and show some of the neighbors in the area as well. So that way they're, they don't hate you before you even move in. They probably won't once they see the house that you actually built and then maybe you can be the most popular person on the block but you know what the next question is going to come out of their mouth how much did you pay for this thing and in their mind they're going to think that you paid less and at one time modular construction was a little bit just a little bit less than traditional home building but now it's pretty much in line the same cost as a traditional home built and you're thinking to yourself why the heck would i go modular if i can get a traditional home built for the same exact price well here's the thing your energy bills with a modular house are going to be substantially less and you'll have a home that lasts a lot longer than a traditional built home. So if you're considering this, I want you to go ahead and make yourself a pros and cons sheet. And when you're investigating any modular home company, find out if they've made some other houses in the area. I have been warning people and warning people, but I'm going to warn you once again. There are a ton of modular home companies that you can find on the internet that are literally full of baloney. They will say they build all these types of houses and they have all these types of factories all over the United States and they want you to join their webinar so you could see their houses and make sure you invest. But I am telling you, a lot of them are full of garbage. You want to find a modular home company that has a reputation in your area where you can actually drive and see some of the houses. You want to ask them for some written recommendations from them where you can actually speak to some of the people that built a house. You want to go to their website and their Facebook page to find find out if there's other written reviews done. If they have none of that, that's a big giant red flag. And I suggest finding another modular home builder. So now that you know all this about modular construction, do you feel like this is going to be the wave of the future or do you think it's going to be something that's left in the past? Let me know in the comments section below. To watch more videos about modular construction and different types of modular construction, go ahead and watch these videos right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.